Dort Podcast Rich Keith is the Dort Podcast Ryan Davis is the Dort Podcast Hashtag is the Hashtag Dort Podcast Shut up Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hashtag Dork. My name is Rich Keefe, joined as always by Davey Eyeballs. He is Roadhouse Von Dodehouse. All hail the King of Ginger Ale. It's Ryan. Davey, Davey, how are you? I'm great. I had a great little Saturday. I know that we usually do this on Sunday. It's my fault. So right. Full disclosure, I screwed up. All good. But I spent the afternoon at uh, First City Meets in Lynn with Josh Clark doing some promotional photography for his website. Hell yeah. Great time. Came nice. home with some meets. Good. Cook some flat iron steaks tonight. My family love them. Good, good stuff. So if you're in the North Shore area, first city meets in Lynn, check it out. Unreal. Yeah. Nice. Unreal experience. He sent us hats and shirts, and I have kept the hats and shirts. I've not you have kept the hats and shirts, yeah. Given them to you. And I've seen you a few times since, but I keep forgetting. Yes. So I do have hats and shirts with your name on it. Perfect. Uh, but that's very good. Yeah, that all sounds mm-hmm. great. And uh right, it is a it's a, it's a rainy Saturday night. Sure and uh, but luckily it's a dork double feature Saturday night with the dork boys, and uh, we have a lot to get to. But in this episode, let's do this. This week in dork. Yeah. In addition to the topic du jour, a ton of movies came out, whether it be in theaters or streaming this weekend. The headliner was supposed to be Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Sure. And it's getting just bodied. Nobody seems to like it. 43% on uh, Roddy T's. And a lot of diehard Ghostbuster fans are saying they don't like it. The the audience score on Roddy T's is pretty favorable. But we talked to Goo. He didn't like it. I have a couple other friends of friends that like wanted to see it. And they were like, no. Apparently, it's like it's kind of serious. And I'm like, really? Really? Well, it's yeah, what, what I heard. What got me too is someone who reviewed it, and I think I said it to you when we were we were hanging out, we were talking the other night. Someone said the the first Ghostbusters movie was good by accident, and the other ones are not oh, right. good. Yeah, right. I, there, you said no, there like, have been five now, said- right? Yeah, it's impossible to make a good Ghostbusters movie. The first one happened by accident. Because, yeah, yeah, there was two then. Then there's been two of these. And then there was the all-female Ghostbusters. There's five total Ghostbusters movies. And, yeah, the first one's great. First one's great. Second one's fine. There's that my favorite scene in all. Two has my favorite scene in any Ghostbusters movie. That when Lewis Tully gives his defense of the Ghostbusters. His opening statement, which is, I remember it by rote. It was, sure, the blackout was a problem for everybody. I had to, I was stuck in an elevator and had to make the entire time. But one time they turned into a dog and they helped me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's hear it for him. (laughs) All right. Very good. Uh, Yeah. So there's that. I don't know if we'll get around to uh, reviewing that at some point. If you guys did happen to see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, at Dork Podcast. Let us know spoiler free let us know if it was uh good maybe maybe the critics have it wrong i'd, I'd be all ears uh immaculate the sydney sweeney starring horror movie like religious horror i think she's a oh yeah girl. none yeah yeah this is getting like decent enough reviews roddy t's has it at 72 audience lower though so this is one of those ones flip from ghostbusters where the audience likes it less than the critics do you how do you feel about her saying she wants to... it's sydney sweeney in yeah. a horror movie, maybe she put on the throne. And yeah. she wa- she came out and said she wants to work with uh, Margot Screen Robbie now. How are you, how are you that on that? Film? You would watch that film? Is that too much? I'd but, watch them being whatever they want. Oh, maybe too much. They yeah, do. maybe. You what about a little yourself. buddy cop film? <laughs> yeah, that'd be with good. Those two. Yeah, I feel like they need like an intermission. People need to be able to relax a little bit. Oh, did you now, see that guy? The guy the in movie. Detroit. Did you do you did that on the radio, right? The guy in Detroit. That no, would happen talk across about the country. <laughs> so for those that don't know what you're talking about, there was uh what's the name of that movie that's out now? The, I, I forget what it is, but it's the one with Kristen Stewart and the other girl, and they're like bodybuilders. Yeah. <laughs> I forget. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck so, is the name? Love, Love lies something. Anyway, yeah. a guy had to be removed, he passed out while jerking off himself whilst and the movie ended 
and the lights came up and everyone saw him. <laughs> he was just cranking it mid theater passed out before he had a chance to i assume before he had a chance and yet before he had a chance yeah <laughs> he had a chance <laughs> the guy had a chance hog in hand just a dead asleep <laughs> and he had like snacks and shit like near he had like, like blankets like kind of like a jacket like kind of over him but not really uh yeah. like hate to see Lord, dude oh my god now the movie i really want to see though is late night with the devil this yeah. thing is getting 96 critic score on roddy t's 84 audience this is the david desmouchin horror movie where he's like a uh, late night talk show host and something crazy goes on so i'm all in on that one that looks awesome it does look really good and he's like sneaky like the perfect person to be in a horror movie he's like kind of got a weird yeah. face about him you know and he's uh he's he's kind of creepy looking I don't know. and so it's um he's yeah definitely. yeah I can't. I'm looking forward yeah, to see. I didn't get this. You who had this movie draft? You did, right? I did. Yeah, I was all in yeah. on this. I saw the trailer a while ago, and I was like, "This looks fucking creepy." I have mostly horror movies in the, uh, which <laughs> as you not, always do. Like yeah, <laughs> not the yeah. recipe for success normally, but we'll see. Uh, speaking of movies, uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. We got a trailer for that teaser trailer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you got to see Michael Keaton. Got to see Jenna Ortega. Got to see uh, Winona Ryder and Catherine O'Hara all back in action. Tim Burton's running the show here. I'm in on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, man. This looks pretty good. You know who's mo my kids are so in on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice because they've we've seen the movie a couple times. They love it. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're like they're so excited. I showed them the trailer and it 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 does look really good. And I watching the movie again recently, it's amazing how like unhinged Michael Keaton is the entire film. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's like a Robin Williams performance. Yes. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, not to derail this week in Dork, but I'm glad Thomas brought this up. So on the radio this past uh, Friday, I was telling a tale about how I have like a creature or creatures in my shed. Okay. You know, didn't know what it was. I've had I had uh, a mouse get into Mises. my wife's car. I've had no Jesus for us Mises get into my <laughs> wife's car, and that was a real problem. No Jesus for us, so they chewed on her wires and then that was yeah. the game changer. that was a fucking costly thing so like knock on wood we've never had them in the house but clearly they're outside of the house somewhere. so anyway long story short i go into the shed to get something the other day and i'm like man i'll probably see a mouse i'm almost expecting to see a mouse yep i see a thing straight in front of me and it's small like a mouse small like a chipmunk but not it's neither of those things from first okay. glance not a squirrel either not a I'm rabbit like, not a rabbit for sure not a rabbit doesn't have nice floppy ears i'm like what is this thing so i'm like maybe it's like a young skunk it was white it was white in the face mm -hmm. kind of cute white in the face so i'm like is this a skunk i'm like is it a possum like it would be like a baby skunk or a possum i'm like i don't know what the fuck it is so i send a picture to katie who's at work she shows something that she works with and the, the woman says to her oh that's a stout and i was like a stout a stout, a stout? Also known as an ermine or a weasel to the layman. We have weasels. We have weasels or ermines. You got weasels? I have ermines. I have ermines it's in my like shed. Animal. Yeah, look up ermine. E I see them. Those little, little fucks. A stoat or a stout? Stout or stoat. S T O A T. How would you say it? Oh, I, well, the person who said it said stout like the beer. Oh, oh, oh. Thomas in the chat said stout. No, no, no. Stoat. S T O A T. Stout. Stout? stout stout i'm just saying ermine because i feel like i have that one right ermine just... ermine we got it. i think it's a stout so ermine we got so ermine stout, different than... a stout not a stout yeah weasel well, i got weasels so we but... got a little weasel and i think i got at least two of them because i saw the one he had the white tail i ended up taking a picture of this little guy i got him on i got you on film so i got one of him he was jumping about and he was like but he was kind of sneaky and he had a nice fluffy tail and they're kind of long like they look like ferrets yeah. Yeah. And so at one point there was one straight ahead of me. And then the next thing you know, there was one to the right of me. And I'm like, there's no way he got from A to B that quick. So I'm like, I got at least two ermines in there. Yeah. Start so feeding I, them. Domesticate no, he, them. Here's the thing. The dog. No, not even the dog. I was asking on the air. I'm like, do I need to get these things out of here? Are they going to cause damage? <laughs> no, no. They kill mice, 
bunnies yeah. and snakes. Yes. That's why I said feed them. Like, dude, we are long overdue. I wish these we had these ermines because Katie's like, what are we going to do about it? I'm like, I think Leave them. I think we're keeping these guys now. Yeah. So I hope you know it's like- not cool. What's you that? know, one of my colleagues, I live on a, a school campus. You know what they saw? This is across the street. There's like two campuses, like a West campus that we don't really use anymore, except for like athletic fields. Yeah. So there's a little pond there. Guess what they saw crossing from like pond to pond? Fisher cat. Fucking fisher cat. No, and that, they got it like on video. They're like, "Don't walk your dogs down here." Like, no, fisher, fisher cat fisher would cats. a fisher cat would tear Harrow apart. But the yeah. uh, the ermines are so so much smaller than Harrow. No, they wouldn't keep want those around. There no snakes in your backyard, dude. Snakes and mice. Like if yeah. the, so, the mice have been fucking up the car. The snakes just scare the hell out of me. So I'm yeah. like, I hope these guys just camp out in there and have like a nice life. You do have to name them. Well, yeah. So Stiz had a good idea. Maybe one of them can be Ernie. Ernie the Ernie the Ermine, and yeah. then the other one could just be like Philip. <laughs> Carl want to know a fun fact about Ermines? Yes, they have something in them where they can change the color of their coat based on like the environment, based on like the season. So right oh, now, they're, right now they're all white except their tail was a little dark, and so by the time the spring and and summer and fall roll around, they're going to be like brown. So they blend in with the stuff that they go, then they fucking what? change again. These things, these things are fascinating. Yes. I love them. Love that. So, so then That's I, great. so I couldn't find him. And then I left the shed and I left the door open and then I came back in and he was up on like a bench and he like, he like looked around and like saw me and I'm like, does he want me to go in there? Like, what is this guy? I think yeah. he was like, just kind of curious. I was like, was hey. like, well, I live here now. I was curious. That's why I call him. You just name him whiskers. Yeah, okay, whiskers. Like Ernie, Ernie, Ernie and whiskers. whiskers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was curious like a cat. And so, yeah, uh, yeah I think he's, it's just, it's a blast. Anyway, throw him some hot dogs or something. They would love that. Well, I wonder, like, I, I, see, I don't want them to think they don't need to hunt the mice and the snakes. That's why you don't, you just cut up a little bit of hot dog and then throw them. So, you know, they know you're nice. Oh, true. And then leave them. True. Good point. Yeah. Yeah, fucking great, great addition. I've I've brought them up to Katie like thirty times today. I'm like, well, you know, we have ermines, and she's like, yeah, I got fucking stop talking about the ermines. Keep stop talking about the goddamn. Stouts. So I left. I left Stokes. today. Me and yeah. me and CC went somewhere, and I was like, hey, just don't forget to feed the ermines. She's like, I'm not fucking going in there. I'm not going in the shed. From anyway. hot dog. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, TV, we're in a decent spot in TV. The next episode is going to be a TV show that just came out. Uh, Shogun is still ripping right through. Absolutely love Shogun. Uh, I'm one behind in Dark Side of the Ring. I'm one behind in Manhunt. And I'm all caught up on Bad Batch. I'm liking Bad Batch. The most recent episode of Bad Batch, which I think is eight, I think you would enjoy. Okay. Um, And then... uh. I put out a feeler. I was like, do I need to watch Invincible? Because Invincible's back. Mm-hmm. And Jordan had a good point He uh, on Twitter. He was like, the way it's going, you might want to wait till it's all done. Like, at this point, we've waited. That's so what long. I'm doing. Yeah. And then rip them all because he's like, the either the last episode or the one before, like a major cliffhanger. So you're like, you might as well just fucking watch the whole thing. So yeah, that's right. what I'll do for Invincible. And I don't know about the Rick and Michonne show. I don't know if it's going to get its hooks in me if I should go watch that Walking Dead show. <laughs> I got two responses, so I don't know how many people are watching. Yeah, it. 50, 50. And that's what it was. One guy was like, get in on it. The other guy was like, it's super boring. So I'm like, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> but it's going somewhere. It's so going. my brother, my brother gives me this hot take. He'll he'll text me every once in a while with like this, like the hottest take. Mm-hmm. And he said, uh, you were talking the three body problem. Uh no, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it either, but we I think we talked about it or something. And yeah. he's like, it's gonna be it's gonna be better than Game of Thrones. It's the next Game of Thrones. Well, it's the Game of Thrones guys, right? Right. But he said it's gonna be better than that. No chance. Which I don't know if that's true, coming from somebody who thought it would be a good idea to buy a Zune. <laughs> What's a Zune? A Zune? A, a great question. So yeah. when the iPod first came out, I remember I got one. They like I bought a Mac computer, and the guy at the store was like, hey. They're throwing these in. Just take it. Oh. And remember, MP3 players were like, this was 2001 or 2002. So okay. he was like, yeah. so I remember I had that little MP3 player that had like five mm-hmm. songs on it. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, this can hold like a thousand songs. I'm like, there's no fucking way this thing holds a thousand. It's the biggest deck of cards. Like, no way. He's like, yeah, they're just throwing them in with new computers. I was like, cool. 
So then Microsoft made their own MP3 player to compete with the iPod called a Zune. <laughs> and my brother's like, no, this one's way better. And your brother like got six months later, they never they discontinued them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zune. Every time yeah, you bring yeah. in Guardians and Guardians Two. Remember they give Peter the MP3. It, that's a Zune. Awesome. It's a yeah. good so the joke. Is just, those things are dog trash. shit. Just yeah. piss. Yeah, I like it. Just piss. Uh, so TV is going to be kicking. So right now it's good. In June, it's going to be insane. So not only it's too much. It might be too much because we have to keep up with all the shit and they're all going to be standalone. So you have the boys and the bear are both coming back in June. Then we just got trailers this week for House of the Dragon and the Acolyte. Right. All in June. Like, what are we going to do? <laughs> it's going to be busy. I don't know watch. Jesus Christ. Here's the question. Do we get them Thrones boys back at it? And do we have think- to wait on Sunday night and then do like recap episodes? Is it going to be? Yeah. I think so. It, yeah. I think so. Hey, how cool was that? So House of the Dragon did two trailers because this time there's going to be two dragons. two dragons, but they did a, they called it a black trailer and a green trailer. So like one was from the perspective of the Targaryens and then one was of the perspective of, I'm forgetting what the fucking girl's name is now, but like, it was like the two different sides. Yeah. Kind of neat. Pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm kind of pumped for this. Mm-hmm. I also think. The acolyte looks excellent, and everyone is like everyone's shitting on it because they're like, oh, because there's uh, um, yeah, why are they shitting on it? I don't know because it, it happens before, so it's like when the the Jedi are at the height of their power, there are no Sith, right? So they, and there's probably like some pretty shitty Jedi at this point. So yes, yeah, it's pre uh, all the movies, like a hundred years pre movies. Yep. Yeah, but and, people uh, are like shitting on it because it was because there's a, a woman in it probably or like right and and. But they're like, there's one early Jedi like who has like a, her lightsaber is convertible to a light whip. That's and they're it. like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, it's canon. Like it's in. She's a real person and that's a real thing. And that sounds awesome. Like, what are you pissed about? What are you steaming about? People are so protective of these things. Like, just stop. Like, just let it be good. But, and they I'd be like, How I many- say that as I'm about to as I'm about to talk about a movie, a <laughs> beloved movie I have from the 80s. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the irony of me just saying that. Yeah. No, that's true. But uh, I, I can't fucking wait for the accolade. And then we also got a little teaser for The Penguin, which is going to come out in the fall. Yeah. So that won't be in June. But that is the uh, Colin Farrell uh, HBO Max show, which obviously from The Batman. Now you get The Penguin. And uh looks good. It looks like it's going to be obviously crime boss shit, kind of Sopranos-like stuff. But I hope they, they add some. There's some familiar people there. Yeah. I would like to see some. You got to mix in a few, like, yeah. especially if that world we know already had Riddler and Joker was like locked up. So like they yes. exist. And yeah. You can't just have it be Falcone and Marcone. Mar- but uh, I would Falcone. love, you know, if he, if he deals with like Victor well, Zaz or he deals yeah, with like yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. someone like not, I'm not saying like you have to bring in Joker and Batman and no, whatever. No. You just need like some familiar faces. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I need yeah. that. Uh, all right, Rye, we might as well quit wasting time. Let's get to this. Y'all ready for bisque? Topic is your time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. It's the topic of the day, and today it is Roadhouse 2024. This is a uh, Amazon Prime uh film. You could uh stream it right now on the old Prime. It was not seen in theaters. Currently on Roddy T's, 63% by the critics 59 percent by the audience it is one hour and 54 minutes rated r starring jake gyllenhaal let's begin as we do with all of our movie and tv reviews spoiler free ryan did you like it i did not like this movie okay. no okay did you like this movie no and i went into it kind of like Full disclosure, probably like not expecting to like it. So I did have a lower bar, but I still went into it being like, let's watch a movie. I had some snacks. I think I had uh, some candy. Like I had some movie candy. I was sitting in my my little home theater, my Dragon's Lair, which I loved. Like I said last week, it is legit my happy place. So I'm like, whatever. How bad can it be? And I'll tell you one thing. This is maybe one redeeming quality. I do think Jake Gyllenhaal is on a short list of like, movie stars 
I think he is. Like, I might not like every movie he's in. And, like, not that this, not, they clearly aren't all good. Like, I'm, I don't think this one's very good. But I think he is, even when you don't want to like him, you're like, yeah, he's fucking pretty good. Like, he's pretty good at what he does. However, the movie did not need to be remade. And no. it also isn't really like a remake. Like, obviously, there's very much, very, there's ideas clearly ripped from that one. But man, it didn't need to be remade, and this could have been something else altogether. You but could, did, I don't understand no. why they called it Roadhouse. <laughs> Although they did say Roadhouse several times. Oh my god! They said don't Roadhouse even get me a thousand times started with that. They said like, they said the name of the movie a million times. At one yes. point, they, had to, they explained to each other what a Roadhouse was. They explained to each other what a Roadhouse was, and then named the fucking bar. The Roadhouse. He's like, well, no, but what's it called? And like, no, it's Roadhouse. They did a fucking who's on first bit about Roadhouse. And then I I'm getting ahead of myself right now because no. I want to. No. I want to start. I'm gonna start losing it. <laughs> That's fine, right? That's but like, for. you have the the fucking name of the bar is the Roadhouse. Like, how fucking bad are your writers? How and like, wasn't Jake Gyllenhaal pissed that like this wasn't get, get, gonna get seen in theaters? Was it Conor McGregor or someone like that? So Probably. I don't know why this wasn't gonna show in theaters because it's a fucking stupid movie. It's a piece of shit. It sucks. <laughs> Tip to tail, piece of shit. It's a roadhouse. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We, we got, got it. it. But what's it called? Like, this is the maddest I've ever been. And then they rip off another joke. From another superior 80s movie that we'll get to in spoilers. Yes, we will. And so the original 1989's Roadhouse starring Patrick Swayze is one of the coolest movies of all time. It's one oh, of our, our all-time favorites. Uh, I forget. That might have been another one. One of your DVDs I saw for the Probably. first time. I want to say. Much to the chagrin of my family, anytime it's on TV, I will watch it in its entirety. Much to the chagrin of my female household. It kicks ass, man. Like it's so like when it was like name a movie that kicks ass. You're like I don't know, Roadhouse. And you're like fuck yeah, that does kick ass. It yeah, kicks, it kicks all the ass. It kicks all the ass. Like the crow, crow. That kicks, crow kicks ass. Kicks that's what's nuts. Ass. Dude, that's yeah. what's so crazy. Like my mind's like melting because it's like we just watched Roadhouse. We, we're going to talk about X Men, the animated series. Uh, the Crow just had a trailer for a reboot. I'm like, wait a minute, this is all the fucking shit that we loved 20 years ago. Right. All the same stuff. But talking it up. And listen, some things, I guess, uh, I'm trying to think of one, like a re like a modern reboot that was actually pretty good. All right, struggling to think of it, but I know that it's not it's not Roadhouse. It it's just not Roadhouse. It isn't. Um this was weird to me where they wanted it to be a comedy, I feel like. Like Doug Lyman, who directed Swingers and a bunch of other movies, he directed this. And it's like there's a few, there's like a couple characters that are like comedy or maybe like one that's more like a comedy type character. There would be like a few like goofball lines, but then it'd be like not even close to a comedy for like 20 minutes, like not even shades of a comedy for like no. 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden you'd have like sort of a goofy joke and you're like, oh, we're joking again. Like, I don't know how to explain it because I know movies aren't just like comedy, 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 comedy the whole time. And like, you yeah. can have that balance. Like, Deadpool does some crazy shit. And like, it's like the action and the violence is off the charts, but it's like always kind of knows what it's doing. Whereas this one, you, if you watch certain parts of it, you'd have no idea like what, what the genre was. No. And, and what kills me too is like for a, for a movie that had built itself as like a remake of the original, like you said, there's very little to do with like the original because like the dalton because his name is just dalton in the original played by patrick swayze was an undersized guy who fought as a last resort remember the whole thing was like just be nice just be nice yeah. you know um take it, outside. Yep. take it outside but be nice and he's like until it's time to not be nice so it's like that whole thing now you have like this like nearly invincible ufc fighter who like <laughs> loves fighting yeah, he's a killer. He's a fucking yeah. great fighter. He's a great, he's an unbelievable, he's a, one of the world's best fighters. And I mean, I guess this isn't really a spoiler, but like people recognize him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's not the Patrick Swayze, very unassuming, like, hey, I'm going to be nice to you. You're like, okay, kind of pretty boy. I thought you'd be bigger. Like yeah. That like whole joke, could, like the whole time. Yeah. You could have pulled that off. Jill Jill Hall's not like a big dude. Like he got ripped for the movie, but he's not like, oh, yeah. a, he's not an intimidating guy. No, but like to put him next to Conor McGregor, who's like not also not a very big guy and like shorter than him. 
Yeah, which is weird. Like McGregor obviously could kick ninety nine percent of the people's asses in the world, but he's oh, like yeah. a buck fifty. You know, like yeah. he's and yeah, those are the two. And just like he, he did that thing where he like puts his shoulders forward and walked like he did, he wasn't doing the full Conor McGregor walk, but he had his yeah. he does this thing where he walks where he like puts his shoulders forward. Yeah. So his arms are like way out in front of him, and it looks odd in a shock out of context in a shocking twist he is a terrible actor oh he stinks and like the lines they gave him were like arnold schwarzenegger batman and robin bad yeah yeah like uh puns oh. and like stupid shit so i i agree with this joshua in the chat i agree 100 percent. it definitely seems like they had written a, this is my guess somebody wrote a movie thinking it was an original idea and then somebody else read it like that's kind of like Roadhouse, like a guy going to a bar to protect the bar, like everything. Like, and they're like, "All right, so do we change it or do we just like ask permission to do that?" And that's what it kind of feels like. They had pieces of a movie, and maybe it was somebody that didn't even see Roadhouse or something, and they were like, "Oh, actually, let's just this is a good idea." And when then we slap the name on it, and people, then they, it'll be like know, people will see it. Maybe they will, but then they put it on Prime, so right away you had to know that it wasn't going to be. Great, especially when you have a, a movie. I'm telling you, like a movie star. Like Jill is good. Cause I was, I was just watching like um Prisoners, and then I was watching uh the other one that Denny Villeneuve did. Fuck uh the one that he plays two roles. I was just watching like those recently, and I'm like, man, Jill, every time Jill and all pops up, man, he's he knows what he's doing. Like he's yeah, good. he was good in like it was it Nightcrawler, he was good in that too. Nightcrawler, Zodiac. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, there was also one. I don't know. Oh, was Nightcrawler the one where he answered phones? No. What was the one that he answered like nine one one calls? No, that was the that was Nightcrawler. He was like a photographer. Oh, that was Nightcrawler. Yeah, and he was like he would go around like or like video camera, and he would like go around like film for the news, and like they would like sell him to the news and stuff. Nope, that's a different movie. Let me look this that's up. That's Nightcrawler. No, 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 that's Nightcrawler. The one I'm thinking yeah. of is a different one. He he, like answered calls. Maybe somebody has it. Where the fuck is? You know what you know what I can't stand it drives me up a wall and back is actors who are so incredibly famous their list of movies isn't even on their Wikipedia it's on like a sub oh yeah yeah <laughs> you know they, they, you go to somebody's Wikipedia and usually they have like their shit on there but yeah. when they have such a lengthy Wikipedia you have to click another link to go to their um <laughs> where is this movie uh not oh, was it the guilty maybe no uh he's been in a ton of stuff he was in the ambulance i don't think that got reviewed very Am well amber lamps he was in amber lamps oh no it is it's, it's called it's called the guilty and uh the guy who did the screenplay is nick uh pizzolato the guy that did true Pizzolato, detective yeah. so i don't know i would recommend the guilty the guilty is is pretty good hmm. all right anything else though so i thought the side characters in this were pretty poor like across the board the oh ones yeah both the ones you were supposed to like and the ones you weren't supposed to like. Oh, uh, was, um, was it Rat Catcher 2? Was <laughs> she had her moments? Yeah, I, I that was her, thinking. right? That was her. I, I think that was her. Yeah, I wasn't a fan though, wasn't a fan. Um, yeah, Conor McGregor was terrible. A couple other like bad guys were, were bad. They're like, oh, it, was dumb. who was that? It was like that one bad guy who like he broke his arm in the beginning. And then he would just like see him and be like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Like they wouldn't even fight. He would no, just... that was like the comedy guy. That was the guy that was yeah. like bringing jokes. And you're like, "All right, yes." But they nothing was that funny. It was just no. like, okay. Um, it's it's not a must see clearly, but it is free. So like, if you haven't watched it and you've listened to the pod up to this point, like it's on Prime. If you got two hours to kill, you can you can give it a rip. Uh, otherwise, I think you can save your two hours. Uh, anything else spoiler free before you give us your dork score? No. No. Right. What is your dork score? Two. I'm gonna go two and a half. And I'm gonna give Jill and Hall the extra half. Yeah. I only get the only reason it got a two instead of a one, it was free. It was free. All right, so a deuce fittingly. Oh, it was almost a double deuce. It was almost, almost a <laughs> should I just drop it down? Drop it down. Drop it down. Double deuce. Yep. yep. Double deuce. Here come the spoilers. Uh, 
speaking of the double deuce, they did include the double deuce. That was the name of the bar that uh, Dalton worked at in the original in the real roadhouse. Yeah. Here, it was just next to the bookstore. It was called the double deuce restaurant. It was just kind of there. Sold key lime pie. And you could see, and they made sure you saw it several yeah. times. And to me, it was like rubbing a dog's nose and shit. It was just like, <laughs> you're being punished for this like this is you're watching this like we're gonna punish you no, and i'm like no. this is that and it was the most back like fuck you for doing like don't don't even include it if that's the way you're gonna do it like don't even put yeah. it in there and then to call the actual bar the roadhouse is the dumbest fucking so dumb. laziest stupidest thing and by the way what i was alluding to earlier the boat he lives on is called the boat which is the same name as if you've ever seen the John Cusack movie One Crazy Summer, that's what they call their boat. No shit. So that's a, a joke from another movie that you stole too, you fucking idiots. Not, an, fucking original, not an original idea in the bunch. Not yeah. a one. No. What I a... didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit about any supporting character in this movie. The bookstore people, fucking useless. The no. bar owner, useless. Where is my Wade Garrett? Where's my, you know, where's the the mentor of Dalton? Not there. The fucking big bad guy who's like the kid's dad. You never see him. No. <laughs> no. No. Not for a hot Texas minute. Do you see that fucking guy in the movie? Nope. It's uh did not did not see him. Yeah, it was really just a shame. You know, it was <laughs> It was shitty. And like the how so the rat catcher too, who's like kind of like the he's like she is the love interest, like it's right. kind of like his girlfriend kind of thing. And then her dad's the cop, and that scene where he shows up and he's like, They got my daughter, we gotta go get her. I'm like, they don't have your clearly it was and then like Dolly even calls him out. He's like, Oh, it's a double cross, and here's another double cross. But it was like, I don't know if the guy is that bad of an actor or if the character is just that bad of an actor, but like there was zero chance that like he wasn't in on it. More than any character I've ever seen in my life. He's like, come on, you got to help get my daughter back. She's definitely being held captive. And we, I gotta do it. <laughs> you two brothers. But then there was these other things too. Like, remember he steals the, the money? doctor's ex-boyfriend's boat. Yes. And he's like, where do you think you're going? And he's like, I'm borrowing your boat. And he's like, I'm like L's friend or something. And yep. he's like, no, like, that's my boat. Like, bring it back. And he's like, no. And he's like, well, I'm a cop. And he's like, I'm just borrowing it. He's like, okay, two hours. Yeah. And then he, and blow then he blows up. the guy's fucking boat up. Blows up the boat. Yep. Like, uh. like and there's like, well, all the police. Are, like, did you see, like, other than, like, the three guys who, like, were the bad cops? Did you see any fucking cops in this town? No, I don't think so. It was pretty in, what, Glass Key? I think they were pretty much those guys. Also, I'm so completely sick of the plot line of hey everybody has sold their real estate in one area except for one person and now we need to do something to get the one person out which is the plot of one crazy summer starring john cusack it's also the plot of like every movie and tv show i feel like oh yeah and, and some, of them, some of them have done it well i mean there was even like they even as great as the show is they even did it in uh like an episode of better call saul remember like uh um, yeah Kim Wexler had to like go convince the guy to like leave or go or whatever because like all it is is like super villain wants to like tear everything down and build it up. Oh, there's one person holding out. Like, oh, we gotta put the screws to him. Like every movie and TV show does that. And I'm like, all right, enough's enough. And so now it's like this tiki bar where they have these outrageous fights. Like the place gets destroyed every single night, yeah. and then they just like, like someone like, drops a beer, and all of a sudden it's just fucking mayhem. Whoa. And at one point. At one point, several extras in the movie, when this, the big fight kicks off, when Conor McGregor shows up, they start yelling, bar fight. Yep. Bar fight. That's how you know it's a bar fight. It's not like you, Animal House, like food fight. <laughs> what do you probably, yeah. What do you think of uh, Post Malone fighting at the beginning of the movie? He's just, like, he's got bosoms. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a little hefty in there. I don't know if he put on weight for the role, maybe. No, I think he was a I think he was a he's actually lost weight, but he's got like he was jiggling a little bit. I saw Mac on Twitter say that they used CGI, it looked like for him to like kick and punch. <laughs> well, there were some like it's clear, like he didn't connect with that punch, like even close. No. Even close. 
I I would have liked to have seen the movie where the owner of the bar who originally went to recruit him yes did that like he goes down there like he has to save the bar <laughs> there's just no chance he just gets fucking <laughs> destroyed so a couple of things i actually did like a couple of things that i thought were good lines was well one so post malone's character had won like six fights in a row gyllenhaal shows up and he's like i'm out and like just like gives up the, he's like he can have the money like i'm just i'm not fighting him and everyone's yeah. pissed. i also like when gyllenhaal gets into the fight with all those guys outside the bar at first and he's like do you have medical insurance do you have like dental you have like all that stuff is all good how far away is the hospital and they're like just shut the fuck up and like 25 minutes like okay 25 minutes like he gets all the information first and then kicks their ass so like and then drives them to the hospital he did drive him to the hospital which but was then like, that guy tried to kill him yeah immediately after that yeah like I, that doesn't make any sense yeah that's where it went from like it funny to goofy like it's funny that he's asking about the medical insurance like i think that was hilarious but yeah. then like him literally driving all of them to the to the thing you're like all right now we're getting a little goofy the one guy was just like a slapstick character but then there are guys yeah. in his group that legit would try to kill him right and one guy like he gets hit by a fucking truck yeah <laughs> like like in the air like it's like, hit he, head he on with the truck like there he murdered people yeah, and the yeah. whole thing with the point of Dalton was that like he didn't want to do that. He no, only he did it when he had to. And he also killed, like, they give you, like, a little taste of the backstory where in a UFC fight, he killed his friend. Yeah. Like, all right. That's intense. And, you know, it's, it's funny. I remember um, when he filmed that because people were showing it, and it was at, like, a real UFC. It was at a real like, UFC fight, yeah. Yeah, it was like in between fights, they had Gyllenhaal like obviously dressed like that, going to the ring, do it. People like filmed it from the crowd and like it made its way. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But but I remember like those those photos came out. I'm like, dude, he looks fucking ripped. Yeah. Like he yeah. actually put in work for this piece of shit, too. Don't you think take now? I don't know if you want to go down like the warrior route, which is like an yeah. underrated, amazing movie with Tom. Amazing Hardy. movie. Yeah. But um, like there might have been a better movie with have have ufc fighter jake gyllenhaal who killed his friend mm -hmm. and then have him do something else other than protect a tiki bar but have him do something where i don't know like he does i mean it's all kind of cliche i guess but like whether he like befriends like a like a kid or something and he has to defend himself because like i guess the point here even though it's different than the original dalton is like he used to love to fight now he doesn't love to fight i guess Right, but he like because yeah. he knows he could fucking kill somebody, but then he does kill people in this. He like legit, yeah, and not even like. And there's that whole stupid thing where he's like, "I don't like to get angry, but when I'm angry, like I can't let go." Right, he's like you seem he pretty reasonable right now. Not the one guy too, right? With a gun, he shot him. He shot one guy. Well, he killed <laughs> that guy. Yeah, and then shot him with the cop's gun, oh, no, and then said the was, cop did it. That was actually yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually kind of funny. He's like, "Did you just kill him?" It's like. Oh no! I killed him hours ago. <laughs> and then the the guy even says like they're gonna know that he was dead before the bullets went in him. And then he's like, eh, <laughs> just leaves. <laughs> Maybe fucking a guy who's a who was a world champion UFC fighter turned yeah. bouncer yeah. kills like four people and then just leaves on a bus like they're not gonna find him. Nope, just takes off. He leaves a ton of money to the bookstore people and then just like I'll see you guys on the other side. I bid you would do yeah like it's so dumb like the, yeah. those two characters like the bookstore was like they, that was the dumbest addition because yeah. they didn't they they didn't matter <laughs> what do you mean they, they, they did matter. like the, the cop said like that's not a big deal cop said does that doesn't matter at all yeah yeah that was just sort of like a oh he has to like well, that's he saw, he's got a stop side he has a soft side but also you need to bring them back into the movie much later and he had to be worried about their safety because obviously he met them for a second and is in love with both of them. And she and gave then, him like a 20 page book. Right. About a how tree. there's a tree in the middle of the city. All right. Yeah. Lame. Yeah. Fuck this movie. Fuck it. Tip to tip. <sighs> Fucking Roadhouse remake. <laughs> what are we doing? Watch the original. You can see the original literally anywhere. Just please yes. go watch that movie. If you haven't seen it yet, do it. No. Yeah. Awful. What's the, road talk about what's, what's the name of the roadhouse? It's 
Roadhouse. The Roadhouse. The Roadhouse. By the way, the yeah. music that that was the worst version of what I got by Sublime I think I've ever fucking heard. Yeah, I've heard a lot of shitty cover bands cover that song. That might be worse than all of them. That they sucked. did. Yeah, that was not good. They did show you multiple bands. They did have them behind like the chain link fence, but only a portion of it. It was just the front. Yeah, no, that's true. It was only a little bit of it, but that was that was a throwback to the uh, the original. That was kind of fun. The one band that played the whole time, like the 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 whole bar, they just like, kept playing. Here now, they just like kept playing. I'm like, I don't, I don't hate that. Jeff Healy is rolling over in his grave for right sure. Now. The yeah, blind blues guitar players, Canadians, Canada's proud of Canada. Jeff Healy crushed it, rolling over in his grave. Yeah, the owner of the bar was not a great character. Like you just you weren't like. And actually, you know what's funny is I think it was the first band had a female lead singer and she was quite fair. And I thought that maybe that would be the love interest with Jake Gyllenhaal. And then you never saw her again. And then no. Was- and um, yeah. yeah. So, so, so she is the niece. I, I did something like, who is that? Because she looked familiar. Yeah. Her mom was Anne Hayes' sister. So she's yeah. Anne Hayes' niece. Rat catcher? No, no, no. I thought you meant the, the musician, the blonde. Oh, girl. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. look her. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She's Anne Hayes' niece. Yeah, like that. And her parents, as I know this is kind of a dark story, but her mom, her mom and her dad, her dad was like the CEO of like some company, died in like a car crash like three years ago. Jesus. And she's like kind of a Nepo baby, but like the musician. Ugh. Speaking yeah. of Anne Hayes, this is a random thing. This is this. Yeah. Oh, this Oh, maybe three people are going to understand this. So I've been listening to only a couple episodes. There's a True Blood podcast with uh, the actress who played Pam and the actress who played Jessica. So Pam was like uh, Vampire Eric's like sidekick for most of it, but she was in like mm-hmm. the entire series. And then Jessica is also Karen Page from Daredevil. Mm-hmm. They have a podcast and uh, they interview different people. And it's like I've only listened to two episodes, but I'm like it's good. I think mean, they're both very good. Anyway, Pam. Uh, she said she was supposed to be in the TV, like she was cast to be in the HBO show Hung. Remember that show with oh yeah Jane? And then like at the last minute, they bumped her out for Anne Hache. But if they hadn't bumped her out of that show, then she never would have been able to be on True Blood. It was like uh, so that was the bone they threw. They're like, we're not, you're not going to be in this because we got kind of a bigger name. But we're going to put you in that. Yeah, yeah, like that worked out because Hung, I think, ran like a couple seasons and like whatever. People, it's a very forgettable show. Uh, the first season was actually really, really good. I watched the whole show. I, yeah. I was like, I was surprised, but I'm like, nobody talks about it. It's a very forgettable show, but it's like, yeah. like True Blood has like massive fans. Like, you don't have people at Comic Con being like, I was in season two of Hung. You're like, no, I was in eight seasons. Like, of Let's two. see it. Prove it. <laughs> Come on. All right. So there you go. There's uh, our review of Roadhouse. We said you, you promised the Roadhouse review, right? And there I it did. was. I regret it. I did. I would say no. I don't regret it. No. I'm, I like being this mad. I like feeling alive. I feel alive when I get this angry right. about shit. Well, something I don't. I haven't talked to you about it yet, but something that I assume uh, we're both going to feel very differently about. We're going to do coming up next in uh, X Men '97. So, for those of you that are watching on the uh, YouTube, just jump over to the other link. For those that are listening on the podcast, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll have another episode. Double Dork Week rolls on. So. Uh, Dave, before we move on, just promise me a million times over you will never do another rule. No, man, I'm not promising you that.